The first season of Black Ops Cold War introduced us to three operators, Stitch, Zena and Bulldozer. These three operators, alongside Adler Woods and mercenaries from the underground, clash in Operation Mall at the Pines. However, there is a backstory to these operators before they met. Having already covered Stitch, join me and discover the backstories for Zena Osu and Wyatt Bulldozer Jones. Before continuing the video, as an added way to increase my income on YouTube, I have joined affiliate programs of companies and products that I support. The affiliate links can be found in the description. You can support me by using the supporter creator code MastermindsHD in the Epic Games Store and by clicking on or buying games and other products through the Kingwin and Amazon links. On top of that, I link to each of the products I use in my setup as a content creator, so if you're considering using these products, you can support me by following the link. I will only recommend products and services I use myself. Thanks for your support and enjoy the video. Best defense is good offense. Zena Osu was born on the 13th of January 1956 in the Republic of Senegal, a French-speaking country on the west coast of Africa, making her 28 years old at the time of the multiplayer story which is set in 1984. She grew up around the garages of her successful rally driver father and often joke she has gasoline in her veins. Being a hardcore driving enthusiast, Zena is the first person you would want behind the wheel for a quick getaway. She has been a motorhead for as long as she can remember. Zena enlisted in the Armée de Terre, literally translated into ground force in 1974 at only 18 years old. She immediately joined the Régiment de Génie, translated the Engineer Regiment. In 1978 she was recruited by the French intelligence agency the Service de Documentation Extérieure et de Contre-Espionnage or the SDECE. A year later, in September 1979, she took part in Operation Caban, a bloodless military operation launched by France to install the exiled David Daco and overthrow Jean Bédéo Bocasa, a dictator of the Central African Empire. She later joined the Direction Générale de la Sécurité Extérieure, or DGSE, which is the French counterpart of the CIA. While working for the DGSE, she specialized in mobility and heavy weapons described Zena as an unnecessary risk taker, but that's exactly what you'll need when you find your squad in a tight spot. Her extensive background made her a prime candidate for NATO's joint operations, including those conducted under Russell Adler. She, as well as Bulldozer, were hand-selected by Adler to accompany him as he infiltrated the Pines Mall in New Jersey to take down Stitch. I'll go easy on you. Wyatt Bulldozer Jones, simply known as Bulldozer, was born on the 29th of October 1955 in the United States, making him 29 years old at the time of the multiplayer story. He enlisted in the United States Marine Corps, or USMC, at 18 years old. Not even two years later, at 20 years old, he assisted in the evacuation of Saigon. Saigon, the capital of South Vietnam, was under attack from the Viet Cong and People's Army of Vietnam near the end of the Vietnam War in 1975. The United States would launch Operation Frequent Wind, where almost all of the American civilian and military personnel as well as Vietnamese civilians were evacuated from the city. Serving with distinction, in 1978, Bulldozer then joined the Marine Corps Special Reaction Team, or the USMC SRT, a specially trained team that responds to the most dangerous, high-risk situations and often hostage situations. As the unstoppable Bulldozer, he wreaks havoc in close quarters combat and excels as a hostage rescue expert, often using his iconic sledgehammer to breach doors. An interesting note is that in one of his quotes he says, The numbers Mason, what do they mean? It's an obvious reference to Black Ops, but it's unsure how this quote is related to Bulldozer. From what we've seen, he hasn't met or interacted with Mason. some pieces of the puzzle, but doesn't know he's a piece himself. He won't live long enough to work that out. 
I won't show him the mercy he showed me. He's trying to bait you, Adler. No shit. But if we don't stop him, civilians are gonna die. Do it. What the hell? He's manufacturing Nova 6 again. On January 20, 1984, eight years after Stitch's release from the Gulag, his trail was picked up again. The CIA safe house in West Berlin, Germany was under assault from unknown operatives that strike an uncanny resemblance to the faction The Underground, the terrorist organization led by Perseus. As the dust settles, Stitch enters the room, walks over to the evidence boards to reveal clues on the hunt of Perseus. Stitch's assault on the CIA safe house was taunting Adler as he left a flyer of mall at the pines with the note, time we end this. Zena stated the obvious, he's trying to bait you Adler. Although realizing it's an obvious trap the night after, on January 21st in 1984, Adler, Zena, Bulldozer and Woods launched Operation Mall at the Pines in the Pines Mall in New Jersey. Bulldozer breaches the heavy metal door and the team sweeps and clears them all. After their sweeping, they discover Stitch had an ambush planned with Nova 6 wired explosives. Adler and the CIA strike team find themselves trapped and surrounded by enough Nova 6 nerve gas to throw the world off its axis, as well as Stitch and his operatives. It's unknown how the operation ends. Thank you very much for watching. The creation of these videos is very time consuming from writing the script to designing the motion graphics. If you like these type of videos and want to support me in continuing creating, there are several things you can do. Liking or disliking, depending on what you thought of the video, other than views, this shows me how much you like the content I put out. Subscribing reinforces your support and shows me you want more videos. Leaving interactive comments or feedback reminds me how I'm not just doing it for myself and shows how I can improve. Another way to support me is to join the channel and become a member for one, five or ten dollars. Other than badges and emojis, members will have early access to uploads of the large project such as short films and large lore videos. With that in mind, I want to say thanks to Monty Lambert for being the first tier 2 member and to Hidden Fox Style, Khalil Cheeks, Nervous Wrecked, Sparky22, Karsten Block and Sal Martinez for being tier 1 members of the channel. Your support means a lot. And the last way, as I mentioned at the start of the video, you can support me by using the affiliate links and creator codes mentioned in the description. I'm invested in creating this brand and making it work, so the more support I gain, the more time and energy I can invest in YouTube to turn it into a full-time job. In turn, this will result in more frequent uploads, higher quality content and an amazing community. But however you choose to support me, I will be creating and uploading content because I like what I do. Thanks again for watching. Peace out.